Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Friday, the 19th day of January. It is Artist as Outlaw Day, Brew a Potion Day. You ever have a potion? I don't think I've ever had a potion. Mm. I don't really think I need a potion. Good Memory Day. I can't believe I remembered it this year. I always forget that. (laughs) It is also Gun Appreciation Day, G-U-N, Gun Appreciation Day, National Popcorn Day, Tenderness Towards Existence Day, Tin Can Day, and World Quark Day. All of those things happening. Quark. Uh, Yeah. It's a quark. Q-U-A-R-K, quark? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to know what that is? I really do, yes. I know what a quirk is, but I've not heard of a quark. It's a day set aside to celebrate the delicious cheese known as quark, sometimes yeah. spelled Q-U-A-R-G, World Quark Day. I have never tried it. We are going mm. to have to do that. Yeah, it looks delicious. Hmm. Thanks, Heidi. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, In addition to all of that, we also have Jordan Goodman joining us today. He is America's Money Answers Man. We're going to chat with him about all kinds of financial stuff for the new year. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Families are getting smaller, and experts say that's not going to change anytime soon. A new study in Germany is revealing a significant transformation in family dynamics and a point to sleep decline in the number of relatives the average person will have in the near future. So that's all because we're not getting as much sleep. Okay. They say that this will alter the structure of families, leading to fewer young relatives like cousins, nieces, nephews, and grandchildren, while the number of older relatives like grandparents and great-grandparents will rise. International study realized historical and projected data from the United Nations. Researchers say they found that in 1950, a 65-year-old woman had, on average, 41 living relatives. By 2095, that number should be just 25. So from 41 down to 25. The problem, smaller families mean fewer young relatives to provide care for the older generation. Yeah. So something to think about there. Huh. That is very bizarre. I never thought that it would have anything to do with sleep, but there it is. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Hi, did you know the experts are telling us that men and women have different immune responses to seasonal illness? Basically concluding that the man cold is a real thing. Now comes this. Researchers are telling us that men and women have different responses to jokes as well. A study, <laughs> That's for sure. A study carried out by the University of Oxford found that men tend to rate visual and slapstick jokes more highly than women do, while women tend to prefer jokes that involve relationship dynamics. Huh. Both sexes clearly consider jokes that deploy puns and world wordplay funnier than any other presented topic. Both men and women were least enthusiastic about what kind of jokes, Heidi? What would you say? Um, vulgar? No, political jokes. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I would say that this is not a huge surprise to me because... I know a bunch of guys who like the Three Stooges, and I only know a few right. females who like the Three Stooges. Right. I'm not a fan of the Stooges. And I've heard several females say to me, I just don't get them. I'm like, what is there to get? Right. They smack each other around. <laughs> you know, this isn't really rocket science. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. The long-awaited expansion of the Office universe appears to be getting closer to becoming a reality. 
Greg Daniels, who adapted uh, NBC's The Office for American audiences based on the BB hit series, is setting up development room for trusted writers. The potential new series, which is not a reboot, would likely be set in a new office with new characters, but it would live in the same universe as the Steve Carell mockumentary series, which followed employees at Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Okay. So, Interesting. I don't quite understand what that means. It's not going to be a reboot, and it's not going to necessarily be that. It's just the same people doing a whole different show. Hmm. All right. And Wonka has crossed the sweet box office milestone of $500 million in global sales. Whoa. Five weeks now on the big screen, $176.2 million domestically, $329 million internationally, bringing that to a grand total of $505.3 million. Cost them $125 million to make it, so they did all right. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a mint intervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. We're going to talk about one thing today uh, because there's a whole lot of points on this. It was almost my list, but we wouldn't have room for it there. It says, how to lose weight without going to the gym. Do I have your attention? A lot of people <laughs> out there making resolutions. So what do you think? Okay, here are some things that you can do without setting foot in a gym. Number one, laugh more. It says, laughing for 10 to 15 minutes a day can burn up to 40 calories. When you laugh, your body's muscles contract and expand. It increases your heart rate and oxygen consumption. So they're saying, laugh a little bit, Heidi. I laugh a lot. I know you do. And my favorite sound in the whole wide world is your laugh. You've said that before. Park further away from your destination. I do this a lot now. Yeah. I used to always try to get a... I'm not spot. so much... Uh, well, if it's cold it's out, cold, maybe not. But, but, you know, yeah. uh, but they're saying if you park a little further away, those extra steps do add up. Walk after meals. Instead of sitting down, try lacing up your shoes and going for a brisk walk. Number four, do some chores. Vacuuming for 30 minutes can burn 99 to 166 calories, depending on your weight, and if you have shag carpet. <laughs> Jeez. That's not in the story. I'm just trying to make you laugh. Uh, mowing the lawn for 30 minutes can burn up to 200 calories. Another thing to do, pace around the house. Take a stroll around the apartment or around the house. You don't even have to go outside. You can just walk around inside. Do some deep breathing. Believe it or not, taking four or five slow Deep breaths before you eat has a significant impact on your body's ability to burn calories instead of storing them. Really? Yeah, we'll that, that I can do for sure. I have to breathe before we eat now. Uh, take cold showers if you can handle it. It is a chance to cause your body to burn some calories. And they're saying that you don't have to do a really long cold shower. Even a short one will work. Do calf raises while you cook. So basically just lifting your one uh, okay. leg at a time. One leg at a time. Don't try to just hover on, <laughs> hold on to the counter. What you doing? Calf exercises. Uh, another one here, get enough sleep. We've talked about that to great extent. And the last one is set a daily step goal on your smartwatch. So I've got this list if you'd like to read it. It's in the show notes for today under scoop of the day. You'll find that at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Jordan Goodman. He is America's Money Answers Man, and we talk to him about once a month to get all caught up on everything financial. And Jordan, first of all, welcome to a new year. And let's kind of do a little snapshot of what we're expecting for 2024. Is uh, 2024 looking good financially, or is it a little scary? I think it's got a lot of good things going, actually, certainly compared to what's going on in the rest of the world, John. Nice. Uh, the employment market has been doing okay. We had numbers that uh, we had uh, 216,000 new jobs created in December. For all of 2023, it's about 2.5 million jobs created. The unemployment rate's 3.7%, so under 4%, and looks like that's going to continue for a while. So the employment market is still relatively strong. 
Inflation has been coming down. It had been over 9%. Now it's about 3%, maybe in its way to 2%, which has got the Federal Reserve feeling confident enough not to have to raise interest rates anymore. In fact, people are looking for the Fed to cut rates uh, in 2024, maybe two or three times, um, because they, they've got the short-term rates, the Fed funds that they control at 5.5%, while long-term rates like 10-year treasuries are about 3.8. So there's a big inversion of the yield curve, as I call it. Short-term rates are much higher than long-term rates, and so hopefully that'll stabilize a little bit this year. So uh, certainly compared to what's happening in the rest of the world in China and in Europe, uh, we're in much better shape this year uh, so far, John. Are there specific things that we as consumers, as people either spending money or saving money, there are things that we should be thinking about for 2024 to maybe hedge our bets the best we can? Well, a lot of people are in a lot of debt, and uh, the consumer credit card debt is really out of control, well over a trillion dollars. The average interest rate is uh, over 20%, so getting that debt down would be a good thing. A lot of people spent a lot of money over the holidays, and now those bills have been coming in. It's going to be very expensive. You can't pay them off uh, paying that high interest. Uh, the other thing is the oil prices. You want to take a look at it. We've we've had uh, oil had gotten up to about ninety five dollars a barrel back in October, and now it's about seventy dollars a barrel. It's really come down a lot. And you're seeing that at the pump. You're seeing under three dollars a gallon gas. Uh, not that long ago, John, we we're at five dollars a gallon gas. You know, so that's that's been a real benefit to, to consumers. Um, and to me, it's quite amazing that you have oil at. $70 a barrel with this hot war in the Middle East going on, not only between Israel and Hamas, but now you've got bombs going off in Baghdad and uh, Iran and Syria and Lebanon and uh, Houthis attacking ships in the Red Sea. I mean, it's all over the place. You'd think with a hot war in the Middle East, you'd have oil prices much higher, but in fact, uh, the, the oil market's pretty stable right now. That is at least a, a, a good thing when it comes to that. Usually you wouldn't think that all of that stuff that pref- that, that prefaced the, uh, the the good news would usually not lead to good news. So I guess it's a good thing that we have some positive uh, things happening there as well. I mean, one of the things that's changed is the U.S. has become a major oil producer. We are now producing about 13.5 million barrels of oil a day, uh, which is the biggest in the world. Uh, Saudi Arabia is about 11 million. Um, so that's really taken up the difference. And the U.S. is now the swing producer to some extent, not only because we're drilling wells, but we're getting a lot more out of the existing wells we have using technology. So uh, that's been a big positive swing factor. The U.S. really starting to produce a lot more oil. And today is the day. It's January 19th. If they don't have some sort of answers in Congress today, there could be at least a partial government shutdown. If that happens, everything that we just talked about could potentially change. Would, Would that scenario make things better or would that make things worse? Well, I think shutting government down is worse, actually. I don't think that's a good idea. There's just been such division between the Democrats and Republicans. And last time they had a short-term bill in October uh, to get us to the January 19th deadline, that's when the House Republicans threw out Kevin McCarthy because he agreed to work with the Democrats. So it's very unclear how this, this thing is going to get through um, and actually have a budget and actually have an operating government, which would be a nice thing for a while. If this doesn't work, then the government closes, and there'll be another deadline, February 2nd, where the other half of the government would close down. So let's hope they can work it out. It's going to be very contentious. But actually having a budget and having an operating government, I think, is a good thing. Absolutely. If somebody listening would like to learn more, you've got a bunch of books on many, many different topics. Uh, And also your website, I think, is just filled with so much great information. If people would like to find you, find your books, maybe even ask you a question, where do they go to find all of that, Jordan? Uh, My email is jordan at moneyanswers.com. Always glad to help your listeners. You bet, John. Very good. Jordan, thank you for your time, sir. All right. Thanks again. Happy New Year. Absolutely. Happy New Year to you. Again, Jordan Goodman, America's Money Answers Man. You can find him and his website at moneyanswers.com. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Surgeon scrubs are green to counteract the eye stress from the red blood. They're opposite colors. I never thought of that. 
Oh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The average child will eat 1,500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by the time he or she graduates from high school. I have not had one of those in Me neither. Years. I bet I'm way under that 1,500 mark in my entire life. Yeah. I don't think I've had that many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Huh. Fun fact for you, What's Heidi. That, John? In Spain, it's common to pour chocolate milk on cereal for breakfast. Oh, wow. Oh. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cats s- spend 66% of their life sleeping. Mm. Yeah, it's not good. That sounds lovely. Laying around. Fun <laughs> fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's more bacteria in your mouth than there are people in the world. Ooh, yeah, that's weird. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your foot and your forearm are the same length. We've talked about we that. We have talked yeah. about that. So from your wrist to your uh, your elbow. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The word bless originally meant sprinkle with blood. <laughs> oh. Well, good Yikes. to know. Several fun facts now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. 33% of single women say this is one of the things they notice on a first date. What is it? Hmm. I wonder if you've ever noticed Smile. this. No. Fingernails. Oh, I... 33%? I notice if they're long, like, and out of control, but <laughs> otherwise I don't notice fingernails. I was watching a show the other day, and there was a guy on the show that had really long fingernails. Then I couldn't quit looking at his hands. Like the whole time, it was an interview show, and the whole time he's talking, and it never explained why. When I'm watching this, going, what is going on with his fingernails? Like, those are really, really long fingernails. All right, Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. It might just be the next big thing. A nightclub that's only open at daytime. Yeah. A British actress, Vicky McClure, and her husband, Johnny Owen, say they came up with the idea for a day club or a nightclub that's open during the day. Then uh, it shuts down early, uh, and then you can go grab a bite to eat and catch a train home and be home in time for TV at night. They did this as a nod to the Bee Gees party classic Night Fever. The all-day discos were called Day Fever, and they're aimed at people of a certain age. That's the over-30 crowd. Doors open at 2 p.m. Wow. (laughs) Last entry is 4 p.m. Partygoers are asked to be polite and dress smartly like they would if they were going on a nightclub outing. Following a successful daytime disco in Sheffield, more have been scheduled in London, Nottingham, and South Wales. Organizers plan to take their drop-in disco to towns and cities across the UK, and they, they pointed out the big advantages to daytime clubbing are being home early, enough for match of the day, so it doesn't ruin your Sunday. Apparently, that's a show that they watch. Maybe it's one that they're even on. I don't know. So... This isn't necessarily its own building. I, I think that they're doing this inside somebody else's club that wouldn't even be open at that time, Huh? if I understand it correctly. Anyway, it's kind of weird. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. After 10 years, Max is no longer the most common dog name in the USA, according to Rover.com. So do you want to know which ones are the top names? Sure. Who do you want first, female or male? Let's go with male. Okay. The most popular male dogs, number 10, Duke, 9, Leo, 8, Bear, 7, Rocky, 6, Teddy, 5, Buddy, 4, Milo, 3, Cooper, 2 is now Max, and number 1 was Charlie. Now, the lady girl dog names, Bailey, Stella, Sadie, Zoe, Uh, number 6 is Lola, 5 is Lily, 4, Lucy, 3, Daisy, 2, Bella, and the number 1 girl dog name, shout it out, Luna. 
Yeah. There you go. Our dog is not on the list. Our daughter's dog, Lucy, is on Lucy. the list. Lucy, yep. We've yeah. got a Lucy in the family. All right. There's uh, all the information. There's a bunch of other bizarre names on here as well. Uh, Spice Girl was one that came up. Okay. Carl Barks. Uh, Bark Wahlberg. Oh, cute. Uh, Winston Furchill. And others, if you'd like to read them all, you can see them in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Rod Stewart, who says, Instead of getting married again, I'm going to find a woman I don't like and give her a house. (laughs) Our friend used to say that all the time. I was going to say, that is almost an exact quote. I'm just going to give you a house. Yeah. Almost an exact quote from our friend Dan, who passed away last year. He he actually said that to a a lady, a friend of ours. (laughs) Yeah. He's like, uh, well, I'd like to ask you out, but instead, you want me to just buy you a house? <laughs> we don't need to date. It's just how it works for me. That is your quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. I think it's a really cool story. Uh, comes your way courtesy of Genesis Gold, IRA.com. And this comes from Alabama, uh, Hartsell, Alabama, where, here's the headline, 46-year-old woman loses 154 pounds, then wins Mrs. Alabama contest, and then becomes a model. Holy cow. So for those of you who have a resolution to lose weight and you're going, I just don't know if I can do it, maybe listen to this. You can do it, absolutely. Dana Bradley is 46, and she's recently been crowned Miss Alabama International in her debut pageant. That was the first pageant she had ever done. Uh, She's a mother, she's a homemaker, and she barked on a a remarkable journey after her doctor warned her four years ago that if you don't lose some weight, things are not going to be good. Uh, Motivated by the loss of her own mother due to uh, neglecting health, Bradley took charge of her well-being. Since 2020, she's shed an impressive 154 pounds through a combination of diligent workouts and a balanced diet. Now, uh, she said she lost her weight naturally through hard work and diet. She's now working to become a certified personal trainer. Her transformation has already attracted some clients who trust her who say, I want to do what you did. What makes a difference? Uh, what make, make, makes me different from a regular health coach? I've struggled. I've been overweight. Yep, I've, been I've navigated there. That, a lot of and obstacles. That's wonderful. That we these have people relatable. that I'm coaching are going through, and that is something that I would say is a big deal. When yep. when you're talking to somebody, there's a photo side by side, a couple of them, and uh, I think she's beautiful in both photos. But I can absolutely see a much bigger, happier smile on the photo uh, for 2024. If you would like to read this story, if you'd like to see the photo, and I see down here at the bottom, there's also a video. If you'd like to see the whole thing, I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.